Okay, we're at Kansas City Maker Fair. We just got done watching Architect. It was amazing. We're here with Architect. They're going to tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, whatever we ask. <laughs> How long have you guys been doing this? About since six years. Since 2006, officially. 2006. Yeah, we've been architects since like 2007 or something, or 2008 or something like that. Okay, right on. How much have you grown as far as your coils from when you started? Oh, our coils? Yeah. Um, you know, I think our, our first coils that we were doing were about maybe yay big. Yeah. Yeah. Very small. Right on. And then, like, you know, we started getting booked for more and more events, and it's like, there's more and more people. Maybe we should make them a little bigger. Maybe we should make them a little bigger. Maybe we should make them a little bigger. And, uh... These actually aren't our biggest coils. We actually have one. Um, hey, you want to talk about Gigantor a little bit? Sure, yeah. In terms, in terms of the biggest Tesla coil, we, we did build a prototype that I named Gigantor that we assembled in Chicago, tested up there. It was 16 foot tall and made up to 25 foot sparks. And of course it was musically controlled. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, that was going to be my next question. I know that, that whenever it comes to people doing ridiculous high voltage nonsense like this, you're never going to be satisfied. I was going to say, what's your next step? But that's it, right? Okay, so what happens after Gigantor? Uh, Gigantor or... We can tell you this, like, we can't say what it is exactly, but this September, in the middle of New York City, we're going to be helping somebody put on about the biggest publicity stunt that's ever happened, ever. And that's what's up next. All electrical, or are you incorporating something else? We're incorporating something else, but that's all we can say about it at this juncture. Stay tuned to Architect. That is awesome, man. I'm very happy to meet you guys. This was amazing. I'm happy to finally see it in person. Uh, we'll be, we'll be watching you guys and cool. keeping an eye on you. Thank you very much. Cool. Thanks, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, Hacker Day. Goodbye. Gotta make sure it works. Doing this for you, Hacker Day. What's that? Doing this for you, Hacker Day. What are we doing? What are we doing? Just... I'm shooting John in the ass with the Tesla coil gun. Right, John? No. Oh. Oh, that's great. Wait, let's see that again. Wait, how's that look? Did you get it? No, I don't think I got it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. Oh, that's cool. Up in the air again. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's see that thing up close. I mean, without shooting the, without shooting the camera. No shooting it. You want to step up here? Oh, no, this, I'm at the right height. I can see it real well. So that's the, uh, the gun handle, basically, built in there. On top, there's a microcontroller that talks to the backpack and tells me what configuration to fire the lightning at. I can sort of control how jagged the bolt comes out versus how straight it, it shoots out with these controls up here. So turn around and show me electronics. Yeah, I'll just slide this off, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, this is, device is not military ready yet. <laughs> Inside the backpack, the very bottom, we've got a lithium polymer battery that powers the whole thing. A uh, DC DC converter that steps the 22 volts from the lithium battery up to 400 volts DC. And that runs the Tesla coil uh, bridges that switch the power at three, uh, 400 kilohertz into the Tesla coil itself. That That's is so cool. Essentially it. Thank you very much for showing us, and, and thanks for being the guinea pig. You're welcome. All right, thanks.